the newer cars, you, it's, you, all they're doing is the tuner is saying how much torque he wants. So there's torque tables. So the engines can produce X and they're producing Y. So you just tell it, I want, I just lift the torque more. I want another 100 newtons. And the what? engine just makes another 100 newtons. What? So they You not, can do that? Yeah, on the newer cars, yeah. So all the new what? 40 CUs work like that. They, they all work on torque tables. So, well, so, so they've simplified it to the point where it's just a torque table. And no. It's yes and no. If you, reach the, if you start changing the engine, okay, so you put different injectors and different turbocharger, and diff then it becomes very difficult to tune, and then you need like very clever people to help you with those. So those files, you because kind of buy the base. the parameters that the computer's used to talking to is now totally different. That's right. That garage door isn't there anymore. It's there yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. That's okay. right. But when you load the file on a, from a, upload a file from a, whatever, 650 BMW, all you need to do is you just lift the torque limit of the car. So you say, I want more power. And because the car has got a target air fuel ratio, so you, you don't do the fuel tuning. The ignition timing is controlled by the lambda sensor. It's like a volume knob. Kind of, to a point, to a point. And that's why it's, it's very safe to do a, tune, a, a stage one, if you were, on like these new turbocharged cars and stuff, because they're not actually changing ignition timing, fueling, or boost level. The ECU... All of that's done already that's by the computer. Right. The ECU has a maximum boost limit. So you can lift the torque, so you add, add 100. And it so adds you don't, even, add, you you don't even lift the boost, you lift uh -uh, the, the torque. The car does it on itself. Yeah. Oh, but, but then you say, I want another 50, and it doesn't go anywhere. Because it caught, it's right. like the no, table. It's hitting the limits the now. The table limit. Yeah. Yeah. And then what the clever tuners do is they go, okay, well, I'll just take that and hit it up and take the boost and take the limiters away. So that's then you where have the broken unsafe engines. safe tune comes yes. from. And it yes. look, uh, to be yeah. fair, it's not necessarily going to break the engine. Mm. But when you're dealing with your tuner, and you often get clients that say, I want more power. Which is normal. I've been those, that guy. Those I clients, I just say, then you're at the wrong place. Okay. Because when the engine breaks, the front stops. Woo! Yeah. So uh, you, you go to a point where it's safe, and then, look, the, the customer doesn't dictate what power he wants. You give him safe power. At the end of the day, that is the most power I can give you reliably on the fuel that you're running. If you want more than that, then you're at the wrong place. So, yeah, but my buddy's making, well, then go to his tuner, and when the engine breaks, then, you yeah. know. You're saying uh, 300 kilowatts is the safe limit on this car. I want 330, 340. Not this car. Everybody. No, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're talking, yeah, yeah. I want 330, 340. That guy over there has had 330, 340 on a, from another diner for the last year. Mm. Why can't you do it? You can. Even friends don't tell friends what's going on. So what happens is, you will ask, your friend will tell you I'm making 330. You've seen it on the diner making 330. My friend tells me he's got no cams, for example. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> yeah, same thing. Boop, 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 and it comes. Um, but no, what happens is he's running Octane Booster in his fuel all the time. Permanently, he runs it in his car, but he doesn't tell you that. Or he's got a water meth kit on, which you think doesn't make a difference. So you say, no, my friend makes 330 all the time. And you're like, but does he have a water meth kit? Oh, yeah, he's got water meth, but you don't. So you can't get there. If you start checking and the, the car is pulling retarding timing because it is pinging, I can't push harder than that. Like, mm. you know, there's just no way to go more. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't like going to the edge of the, uh, to the right to the edge of the envelope. You need a bit of safety margin. So, and Weather conditions, altitude, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then you get guys that, uh, that, that will, for example, you'll get a guy that works on one brand of car. Again, I'm the first person to say, if you've got a 2J, take it to Siraj. Because he just tunes them all the time. And he, you know what I mean? He knows if he sees, if he puts that much ignition timing, he makes that I much power on his I think when he snores, that's dyno, the sound he makes 2J sounds. Right. I think he does. <laughs> He'll say, yeah, that's fine. That engine makes 330, it's fine. I'm only going to go to 290 because I'm erring on the side of caution. I don't have 50 of those engines running like that. So you, you, and so they are specialized guys that's right. that specialize. That's right. And you'll get cars. the guys and the tuner is doing something special or specific. There are guys that can get more. And that's why I'm saying like, if I go to the limit that what I believe for myself is the limit of that engine and your friend's 30 more, then honestly go to him, go to that guy and get 30 more. Either it's going to be reliable or it's not.
you know. So you know, are the, you willing to take that chance yeah, with, and, a, with a million rand car? Yeah, and, and a lot of. And the if guys, you are, that's cool. Absolutely, if you're willing to take the chance, yeah. But when the engine goes, it's expensive.